When I was at school, there were definitely the types of people who were told they were the arty ones, people who were told they could only be creative, so they had to study subjects like English, drama, history, music, art. The fact is, a career in science is a career in creativity. We're living in a really exciting and important time in science. We have a very, very simple mission, and that's to make medicines work. We've got this opportunity now to really be creative and really explore new concepts in science. We need creative women at the forefront to bring their perspectives through their lens and lived experiences. As a very young child, I used to love science. I went to school in Stoke Newington in the early 70s, and then my family is Nigerian, and we all moved back to Nigeria. But the science was the same. I became interested in science and the arts and all different kinds of things when I was really little. I was at Chelsea School of Art. I lived in Italy and did kind of history of art, and then kind of discovered the incredible Italian Renaissance. So I just became really interested in bringing together extraordinarily creative subjects like science and art. The science is all about creating new knowledge. Knowledge. To create new knowledge, you do need different people. You bring together all of these diverse perspectives and you see things that you didn't see possible before. The key innovation from our perspective is developing a way to target the retina. Currently, you'd have an injection into the eyeball. We've been able to find a way that we can use eye drops. There are so many researchers and scientists working across our labs and research centres across the globe. We embrace and encourage collaboration and diversity of thought by ensuring that different perspectives are heard. I think it's really important that we recognise and champion the contributions of women. I've spent the kind of last five years or so trying to document the incredible legacies and contributions of scientists who we really haven't honoured and celebrated enough. One thing I'm particularly proud of is for 25 years, the Foundation L'Oreal has partnered with UNESCO to create the For Women in Science programme. It's a platform to really champion women in science. I was lucky enough to be one of the chosen candidates. I think it's a really fantastic programme. I've been on the jury for, for two years now. These women are especially creative. The types of materials I work with are carbon-based semiconductors. They're actually really, really beautiful and they do these extraordinary things with light. So sometimes science can actually be art. <laughs> I don't believe that people are inherently artsy or inherently analytical. We're not that narrowly defined as human beings. For me, Laurel absolutely embraces scientific thinking and creative thinking. For me, these two are completely linked and there's no way to separate them. If people could hear more and learn more about the opportunities that were available to them, it will really open the doors to so much variety and so many broad opportunities for everyone to be curious and creative.